Yes, sir. Big Booty Gamer back. <laughs> hey, yo. I see the title, man. Let's get straight to the video. Yo. I'm semi, I stay automatic. Money add, then multiply. I call it math for math. Ah! All right, let me show you how much damage it does real quick. There it goes. Off bat, that's what you see, right? Let me break it down for you. So, so basically, it has a 172.94 base damage, plus the fire damage, which is 45 damage, plus the gunpowder, 23.21 damage, equaling a whopping 241.15 damage. <coughs> Big math. Definitely the glasses. Loser. But I'm going to show you all something else as well. A little uh, party trick, I would say. So, this is my obvious build. I'll show you that in a minute. But remove the gunpowder and equip the silent powder now. And the silent powder, basically, you can sneak attack with the gun now. And I'll show you the damage. Oh, DD. Oh, what it is. Oh, DD. What it is. Oh, God. Bro, I'm almost, almost a thousand damage. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my days. Bro, I'm finna. Nobody wrong. Don't give up my name. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to get this build. Cause I see these videos about this build, that build, this build, but they never show you how to make it. And of course I'm not that type of guy. So, obviously let's go start with the cabinet. And I'm gonna show you how to get all of these items. But first, let me show you all the skill tree. So I got rude, because you get more damage the closer you are to a enemy. We got sharpshooter. So basically when you're standing still, you do an extra 20% damage, which is amazing. And let's see, defense, I got juggernaut. So you get more damage reduction and 12.5% increase in damage. Amazing. And we got fear mark because I had an extra two points. So why not just put it in that? And on my gun, I have the fire. And for my forge, I have powerful six shooter. So extra 20% damage. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to get all these items now. So first is the unharmed energy and the mana bullets. You can get those from Mela or the green head merchant guy. And the fastest way to get those items is basically server hop until it's in the shop. Okie dokie. So the next one I'm going to show you how to get is the, is the ranger emblem. Basically, head to the uh, mountain area first. Alright, once you're at the mountain area, you want to go this direction, up that way. Okay, so these rangers guys are the guys that drop the ranger emblem see i just got one right now and next i'm gonna go show you the gunpowder because i'm already in the savannah so so go to this building right here and then talk to verdant and if you're on hardcore mode then he will be at the desert area but it's right here and here's the requirements okay so next i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the nerd glasses so first you need the champion metal and how to get that you can go to the desert and then head around this direction now you want to talk to Nebraska, see what you wear, and then you want to get the challenge medal. So now let's head to the Arc May to get the nerd glasses. Okay, so first you want to head to the forest, and then we want to head in that direction. Alright, now let's go to my boats, and let's head in this direction. Enchanted Island, alright, we have arrived. Now let's go up top. I just want to fight him. And he's dead. He didn't drop it this time. Oh, wait, because I don't have the metal, but y'all get the point. All right, now I'm going to show you how to get the armor. So first is the diver because it's easier to get. So let's head to the forest again. All right, now head to the nearest boat post. Now get your boat. And then we want to head towards the sinister sea. Also, you do need a fast boat to uh, make this glitch work. All right, I found him. So let's go get his attention, if I can. All right, let's go. And then we're going to head to uh, the Eggy Island, and then you'll see why. All right, once you've arrived, go ahead and try to trap him in. And from here, just attack him with a long range move, and then he should die pretty quick. And he is dead, and we get the diver gear. Oh, and lastly is the mushroom cap. It was a freaking pain. To get but I will show y'all the uh, the basic details on how to get it back to the forest one one last time once we're back at the forest head back to the uh, boat post all right spawn your boat now we're gonna head right back to this area right here okay once you arrive you want to go upwards and then you see this mushroom and then you want to pick extra way through this wall and then you will see a mushroom here you click yes yada 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 now let's go to the next mushroom location Head to the savannah. Okay, once you're at the savannah, you want to spawn your boat. And then once you're on the boat, head to this island right here. 
All right, once you have arrived, you will see this little mushroom right here, and then there'll be a secret door. There's gonna be a little purple mushroom here. Click it on it, press G. Now there's one last little location. And now let's head to the Cloud City. Let's go. All right, now let's head up to the slingshot. And I will tell you ahead of time, you cannot use a slingshot until you get to wave 30 in the Sky Battleground. So do that beforehand. All right, so now let's go to slingshot, and then we want to go all the way around here until you reach to that little pad over there. We're gonna walk up to it, press G, and it'll teleport you to the second pad. Now you want to head downwards, and you gotta fight this boss right here. And of course, he is Mondoed. My jeez, man. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we can beat him or not. Oh heck, no, dude. Yeah, I'm not beating him. Anyways, yeah, y'all get the point. Yeah. And then you would head up to this teleporter right here. Anyways, <laughs> we can act like we beat that boss. All right, and now when you go up here, you're gonna see a chest over there. You wanna claim that chest, and then you'll get at the glider. Oh shoot, I should not have aggroed him, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Dang. Little, little, too much hurt. All right. Anyways, so when you get the when you get the glider, you wanna head around to the back of the building. All right, now you wanna glide to that this little pillar right here drop down and then mine this little area right here and then there, there, now let's head to the condemned passage okay I'm gonna only assume that y'all don't have the condemned passage yet so go ahead go to Perry head towards that direction I, I think okay yeah and then you'll see this little uh, dug dugout right here drop in head to the right right and then you see this little uh, slab go around that slab the last mushroom will be right here and then collect it yada yada yeah all right now you gotta do some parkour if you die you die Ugh, nice head down here and then you will probably want to save a mirror set your warp and now here's the game finish all the things I told you to do it should open for you and then blah blah, blah cutscene skip that crap that okay all right, I'm gonna tell y'all this now. If y'all are uh, terrible at this game like me, then you're probably not gonna be able to solo this. But anyways, I'm just, I'm gonna try it regardless. Oh my! Yeah. You know, I'm just not on my game right now. That's that's all. But regardless, if y'all if y'all want to beat that mushroom head, then just go to Discord and then ask, and then someone will will probably say yes. Well, eventually at least. And I think that covers everything, guys. Anyways, hope this helped. See y'all guys later. Yui.